When I tell you guys this is the Jalop Olympics, you guys thought I was joking? Today guys, we are in the nation's capital of Washington DC and we're here for the Jolof Festival. Hey guys, welcome to Go Chase and See. My name is Jennifer. I'm your host, guys. Today I'm in DC and I'm here for the Joe Law Festival. This festival is taking place all across the country. And today it's here in DC. Let me tell you guys, I'm just here to find out who has the best Joe Law rice. Guys, stick around. So who's going to take first place? Will it be Senegal or Ghana or Sierra Leone? Maybe Nigeria or Liberia? What or who has the best jollof rice? Oh, that's easy. Nigeria. And why is that? I'm Nigerian. <laughs> it's spicy. <laughs> it's good. It tastes good. Yeah, very, very flavorful. It won last year too, I recall. So it, it's gonna win again this year. So after waiting in line, we collected our boxes of the rices from the five different countries and we're trying to see which country has the best jollof rice. After we had our rice, then we cast our votes. And the winner of the festival will receive this trophy. And in fifth place, we have Sierra Leone. And in first place, drum roll, please. Come on, come on, come on. In first place, make some noise for Nigeria. Chop, tell me a little about that. Yeah, so make we chop means simply let's eat. And so I cater um, a fusion of authentic West African, Caribbean, and American cuisines um, filled with love, spice, and a whole lot of yumminess. 
um, and I share it with the world. So yeah, people get a chance to experience a little taste of Africa. And you're based out of where? So I'm out in Virginia, Woodbridge. Um, so I'm out in the DMV area. I ship to all 50 states in Canada. I do frozen foods, I do pop-up events, brunches, galas, whatever event it is, you name it, I'm there. Thank you for your time. My pleasure. So this is Sierra Leone, and they're representing. Tell me about what you have on your menu today. Okay, um, this is cassava, um, a chicken made with cassava. Um, it's not only from Sierra Leone; it's from Cameroon, Gambia, Senegal. You know, a lot of a lot of countries are using it. So this is the yoka couscous, as you can see, it comes in different form. So it's not really that hard, but it goes with different things. It goes with um, beef, it can go with the uh, fish, and you have some tomato sauce to go with it, and also onions and pepper. It is so delicious. Go taste the sea coming to you from the Jollof Rice Festival. And guess who's joining me? Guess who's here with me all today? Hey, 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 rain or shine, we out here. <laughs> we are out here. How do you like the festival, Ruthie? Hey, this was fun. The fun, fun, fun. The atmosphere was great. The people are just having a good time. And we've been tasting some rice today. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay guys, so there you have it. The festival is definitely about the Jollof rice, but I also feel like it is a celebration of West African cultures. And then I find it especially interesting that a single dish can almost unify West Africa. Am I wrong? What are your thoughts on that? Leave a comment there in the comment section. So guys, the only thing that I can recommend is that you go taste and see. I think that you're gonna find the festival interesting, entertaining, okay? And then also thought-provoking. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Guys, if you like this content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you at the next spot. Bye-bye.